We've seen this before from Doing B, and it is a whole lot of fun to watch. It is so much fun and gives a really big engage tool towards FPX. Like when you look at Sunin, they're kind of like, okay, cool, let's come in this front to back, let's play it nice and slow, see if we can get these stuns, find that nice engage with the Alistair. Hell no, you just run at them with FPX. You get that Nara into the middle of them, you get all this CC up in their face and attack range as the game goes on. So Renekton can still bully in those early stages. It is time to get game number two underway between Sooning and FPX. Those three items in his back pocket until he gets to those later game team fights where we've seen this Zaya. Oh, Flash. Ooh, Flash is on the top laners right here. I thought the trade was over. I thought it was just everyone's going to use their abilities. And oh, it's going to be the late to finish his camp here, but he's level four, a level up on SOFM. I don't think that's going to stop SOFM as he gets knocked back, does take a good chunk of damage here, and Bo will chase him out of the jungle and maybe chase him a little bit further as well. Ping's coming out in the river. His Nuggery will be second to the party, but Bo is quite happy to just run straight at Bin. They're more than happy to take this 2v2. Bear in mind, the flashes were already burned earlier on. Bin is stuck inside the alcove, and this is an easy pickup for the rocky jungler. Oh, God, it's a disaster. Sunni could not have played that worse. Skull, the cowardly lizard, is on. Actually goes down in the bottom lane. The blade caller is beautiful and LWX forced to flash away from the fight. Chris He's already well. copped that. Hey, look. S oh, Mike get caught oh, here. Oh, my goodness. He's walked right into the loving arms of Bin, who is more than happy to take this 1v1. Nuggery's on the way. Is he going to get here quick enough? Bo flashes out to safety. Bin gets the kill, though. And with Conqueror, he might just get out. Nuggery's now getting chased down because SOFM's here. But Doom and B's arrived on the scene. Bin falls down. And SOFM dashes out to Angel to pull himself to safety. It's uh. outpacing this Lee Sin. And now he's in trouble again. He's in trouble, has to ward jump away from this one. Did get the smite down though, so we'll find the crump. That was smooth actually yeah. from SOFM. Blue buff's in trouble though, smite's on cooldown. Should be able to secure this as Bo, I think, just has to back away. So SOFM defends his camps, but now the Herald is the call as Do and B is here. Bear in mind that charge is available and he's gonna go straight up towards this fight. Onto On, who's quite happy to be the front line to be brutally honest. Has himself that aftershock and will walk away comfortably. All things considered, they've uh, been absolutely annihilated here, is actually what I have to finish the sentence with. They're <laughs> pounded against the wall. They do flash away. Two terra plates for himself as. Oh, 1v1 between the AD carries. One Fong aggressed upon. Can he get the blade call at LWX positioning beautifully? But the roll comes in. <laughs> oh my days, LWX dodges the sonic what? wave. The minion wave is here. Bin finishes the kill. Oh, LWX gets the play, but soon he's able to turn that one back around. So, when all is said and done, we're kind of even Steven, apart from those summoner spell usage. Because the two plates on the bot side will equal the two plates that are going to be taken on top of the Rift Herald. However, because Bin had been invested in moving this teleport down, ensuring they got the turnaround kill onto LWX, you've got three members of FPX in this top lane, so they can take this top lane turret and give so much gold to Bow and Nuggery. Yeah, and Meganar is actually really good at taking turrets because of all the bonus stats that you get when you transform into that Meganar. You really pound on those turret plates. Herald will be dropped. Bin has arrived, but he is way too late. This tower is all but gone, and that is a huge chunk of gold going the way of FPX. And even though the trades look like they're going even, look at the gold. It's 3,000 now. In favor of FPX is doing B is caught in the river. Angel with the unleashed power waits for the mini version, the outside of the skull. Do and B will go down. So good punish from Sooning. But Sight. Oh. SFM is on the top side. Maybe this is an opportunity onto Nuggery, but they're stacking up on a Meganar. This is a good ult, but doesn't actually find any stuns. Jumps over the He's wall. He's out again, isn't he? He's, he no, wait, did they, why didn't they Every commit time. to that? He, he doesn't even have flash. <laughs> just I feel like they <laughs> Thank you. I knew I was missing one. But yeah. um Yeah, definitely when you look at these guys, Nuggery's just putting them in their place and you can see the results. Oh my goodness, Bin is just getting railed on by Nuggery, but the TP comes through from Angel, and On is here. You don't get to flash this one, Sunshine. Takes him down and puts him into the earth. 
You nailed it, Munch. Three was the magic number. Not one, two, not four, <laughs> but three people are needed to take down Nuggery. It's all been a bruise. Three was the secret this whole time. But FPX will pick up the second dragon of the game, so not quite at three. Are putting a lot of pressure mid, though. Bow's in trouble. Great flash from on, and this is going to be the pick coming straight on in from SOFM. Nicely done. And a cheeky little Gale Force Kills as well. and turret plates are going to have a big advantage as well. So getting some gold into their pockets is going to be really crucial because when we hit these big team fights right now, it's heavily in favor of the hell away. Yeah, you're saying you're walking past Nuggery. Nuggery ain't letting anyone walk past him, that is for sure. Herald could be dropped in the mid lane to try and garner some priority, but because of the wave, it's just instantly cleared by FPX. Now they get to stroll on over towards this dragon. One Drake apiece so far. Gold still in favor of FPX. As they look to make things happen. Charge oh, no. the bot side. LWX is alone. <laughs> LWX is just wondering where his entire team just vanished to. As Bin is wondering the exact same thing elsewhere on the map. LWX jumping forward. Just going to get the isolated Q on the Gromp. Bo's going to take that one. That's his Gromp, remember? Bo but, owns the Gromp. Swamp Fong pushing the up dragon. in the mid lane. The dragon. Look at Bin. He is just <laughs> legging it across the top half of the map right Forget now. Forget about Bin. Dragon is still up. <laughs> There's a tower being taken in the mid lane. Bo is looking to try and what stop him escaping from this as he's just buying as much time as <laughs> yeah. physically possible. Bo had already used the Weavers while he's oh. not coming anytime soon. Angel. Ooh, Angel somehow surviving that one. In they go. On towards Nuggery. He's not in the Mega Nar for now, but they back away once more. I don't know what Sunin are. Well, what they aren't aren't doing. They should be doing something. They need to be making these plays work. The second you see both Bow and Nuggery commit to that play, you get the hell towards Dragon. You try and steal that, or you hard commit for this mid lane. Get something off of the play. Instead, they just kind of finagle around in the mid lane, don't get very much for us, and it's all for naught. I mean, now you've got oh. TPs coming in. They're in a dangerous spot. Yeah, Nuggery's coming behind him. Weaver's wall to cut off the retreat, but they just all in straight onto LWX. Deny the carry, the fight, and you maybe win it yourself. In goes the Claire. Do and B trying to do what he can, but he's just taken out. Beautifully done by Angel. Scatter the week onto Crisp and onto Bo as Bin has found a flank of his own. He wants the Talia and he wants to praise the sun. Crisp trying to escape, but he's not going to be allowed out of that one. One more slice of the old glaive. And now maybe Baron is open for soon. That was a massive mistake from LWX. Both fights now, he's kind of been like the, the kid that's not quite able to keep up with the other ones as he's running and lagging to try and get in towards and play with the other kids. But he gets caught out by Sunin. Uh, that's the second time now that he's not been able to get into a fight as quickly as they'd like. Sunin do a great job of solidifying that team fight. And now they get the Baron. So when we are just criticizing them for not actually making plays, they get the perfect setup and get themselves back in this game. Now they get themselves a Baron as the reward. Ooh. Ooh. LWX trying to redeem himself. But that is the second time in a, a couple of terrors and maybe some plates off of Grace. Weaver's wall being used as the charge comes in from doing B. The rest of the team not quite on the same page with the engage though. And once again, the unleashed power comes on through after dismount. But Doom B survives for now. Blade collar across the team. FBX are getting low, but they're not quite falling on this one. Doom B, the first one to go down, is on. Sacrifices his life to be the assassin cow. But now back towards this bottom lane with the Baron. Soon can grab a tower. They can grab the tower. They've also got a heap of deep vision now in this bot side jungle of FBX as well. So when you look at this dragon. Uh, all dirty. They might have a chance, but they found Bin. Blow that croc early might be the option, honestly, at this point. Even uh, even God Drinker can't save you now, my friend. One, that's uh, modern science for you. Angel Animal in cruelty. the river. You are, sorry. Animal cruelty, that's what it is. Animal cruelty. I don't know, dragons can have tattoos too. Don't be, uh, don't be a gatekeeper. Oh, he's got a lot more safety in these team fights. You've already got the Runes Hurricane coming for LWX as well, but on. One has found a pick. Here we go. On to Bo. Has his on just to keep himself alive for now. Flashes out towards the rest of his team. Can they chase this one down? Scout of the week doesn't hit, but one Fong flashes in for the assassination on Zaya. Nuggeries over the wall, but he's in mini now for now. Finds a kill anyway, so. I guess it's only a weakness for some players. Huan Fong now moving back to the mid lane, but Claire is here charging in. SOFM blocks the charge. 
So we do have a Zonyas from Angel, but he's away from the rest of his team. Gets a stun through. LWX goes down. And Sooning are finding the fight for themselves. Nuggery trying to find that Meganar. Trying to find an ultimate. He's about to transform. Can he get the opportunity? Chasing down onto Bin, who's been caught between a rock and a hard place. Can't get out, but he gets the healing. And he gets support from his teammates to escape the fray. That was a great pick from Sooning into a phenomenal play from Bin. But Nuggery, no! Yeah, w doing B's teleported back into the fight, but Nuggery, he's already used his ultimate and it's not worked out for him. Doing B forced away as SOFM trying to chase this one through. Bin and Nuggery in the 1v1. This is what we wanted and Bin trying to chase him down. Popped into the GA. Nuggery still miles away from the, the Mega Nar, but Bin escapes and importantly, Sooning deny the soul. Now doing B knocked off of his mount. Maybe we'll go down here. Unleashed power is available, but they can't get it in. And SOFM is going to be the one to go down. Is that the scan of the week across everybody? Angel steps up huge for Sooning. And Do and B will inevitably fall. Double kill for one Fong and anything on the map for Sooning. That was so long that FBX had the chance to get beat up, come back onto the map and get beat up again, but on. Oh, on somehow. Actually manages to get this one. LWX comes in from the side. Bo and LWX, the assassin duo, ruining everything for Sooning. But Bin will not let them get away with this one. Nuggery has TP, but he's 20 seconds before he comes back up. And Bin, I don't know if he's tanky enough for this one. Who am I kidding? Gore Drinker exists. LWX will fall into the GA. Angel is here to finish the kill alongside Huan Fong. And at the end of the day, Sooning come out on top of the scrap. But Baron, can they do this with two people up? SOFM has only just respawned, Agda. No, they've they got to back away from this. There's the TP from Nuggery. They will oh, get... But the scatter the weak is so crucial for Angel, but he's got flash available. Stun doesn't land onto the enemy AP carry. And now doing B into the fray, but they don't have the damage. Angel has to go into his Sonyas. Huan Fong desperately trying to fire away, but doing B is completely indestructible on the back line. Remounts and just keeps them busy forever. You cannot deal with the Cled and the Skull. There's too many of them with this Yordle. Doing B will not die, but SOFM will. That's for sure. Rooted up. Gets underneath the tower, though. And now Bin's re-arriving into the fray. On trying to do his best. But Bo's arrived as well. And On suddenly finds himself alone in the world. Baron is up for grabs. And FBX might have just won the fight that they needed. This has more challengers approaching than any sort of Nintendo announcement I've ever seen. Room over Smash Bros. FBX and Sooning are taking over. Because my word fight after fight after fight but it's fpx by somehow some miracle have come out with a baron after all this all of this duck hunt action and no grace if bo could get a steal back that would be the cherry on the cake for fpx doing b goes in chris gonna follow up as well but they are tanky lwx into the back line the caller comes on out. Angel still surviving into the dragon pit. He goes doing B trying to chase him down as SOFM is chased out. Sooning a falling left, right, and center. Bo gets himself a kill as Angel in the back of the pit will be taken down by doing B. And SOFM falls as Bo flashes over the wall and gets his revenge. We said they needed to keep Angel and Wanfang safe. We said these were the core carries of Sooning. And Doombie just tears at them, ripping past the front line as he waves goodbye to Sooning's chances in this game as FPX will look to take the 2-0 sweep. This was a hell of a game to finish the day on, but FPX, an 18 to 18 scoreline, will finish the game and take this series this is the world championship squad and they are looking for more this year they are looking dominant right now in the lpl